Today we're going to be making a 3D printed Formula 1 style wind tunnel for my Hot Wheels cars because I'm not really sure why I'm doing this, but anyway, let's get started. So before researching about how wind tunnels actually work, I used to think that they're just warehouses where they park a car and a 21 year old hipster blows menthol vape smoke on it through a table fan. But apparently it's a little bit more complicated than that. I found this schematic online about what parts are required to make a wind tunnel and I won't bore you with the math and super complicated words like wind and tunnel, but let's just run through these parts so you at least understand why we're building what we're building. I'll put a timer underneath so you can skip it if you want to and get straight to the good stuff. So the first part is the fan and contrary to popular belief, air is not blown onto the object by the fan. It's more like a vacuum cleaner situation where air is sucked out of the wind tunnel through a fan at the outlet. Then comes the flow straightener. It's 2024 and while it might be okay for your neighbor to be into making love to frying pans, I unfortunately need my air to be straight for my wind tunnel. And to do that and eliminate turbulence, we pass it through a flow straightener straightener before letting it into the wind tunnel. The third part is the collector which basically just compresses the air and makes it faster. You can read up about the continuity equation if you're interested in learning about how this actually works. After this we have the main test chamber where we have a lot of straight flowing laminar air and usually this is where we install a see-through window to look at the airflow. The last part is the diffuser which gradually slows down the air that gets sucked into the fan and yeah that's about it. Okay now to make these parts I use Blender because I'm basically illiterate. You wouldn't believe that I actually have a degree in mechanical engineering, but anyway, if it works, it works, right? So I 3D printed all of these parts in resin, cured them, and then started working on the assembly. Now, to make the airflow more visible, I decided to paint the test chamber matte black, and then I cut up some one millimeter thick plexiglass or acrylic, whatever you want to call it, and stuck it onto the test chamber with some scotch tape. After this, I taped all of the other parts together, and now we at least have the basic structure ready. Attention viewer, if you have fingers, I highly recommend using them to like this video and subscribe to my channel because you never know when you're gonna lose them. It's not a threat just saying that you should maybe consider liking and subscribing. Back to the video. Okay, now we need to figure out two very important things, how we're gonna make the air move and the source of the smoke for the flow visualization. Let's start with the smoke problem first. I was thinking about using my dad for this but then I remembered he never really came back with that pack of smokes so I had to resort to using these by biological weapons instead. They're called incense cones, not to be confused with incest cones, which as I've learned recently is a very different thing. But anyway, these produce thick enough smoke for the job and I recommend using three of these placed next to each other. Now a pro tip would be to buy the cheapest, shittiest ones you can find because I've learned that the cheaper these are, the more smoke they produce. And while it may shorten your lifespan by five to 10 years, I'd say it's worth it. If you can't find these, you can also use regular incense sticks. You can usually steal them from various religious establishments, but these will produce less smoke, so that's the trade-off, I guess. Now, coming to the other issue, we need to make wind. And unfortunately, I was fresh out of industrial-grade exhaust fans that morning, so like an adventurous teenage boy with no parents at home, I decided to use the vacuum cleaner for something it was definitely not meant to do. This is just a shitty $30 car vacuum thing, and I just attached it straight to the outlet. After this, I did some professional lighting work, which means I just put an LED table lamp right next to the wind tunnel and then I put my first subject, this Hot Wheels FD RX7, into the test chamber and turned on the vacuum. Now it did kind of work but maybe the vacuum cleaner is sucking too fast or something but this did not produce the result I was expecting. The flow lines were too weak and barely visible so I decided to sell my 1998 mint condition limited edition grape and buy some 9 volt batteries and 80 millimeter computer fans to replace the vacuum cleaner. After attaching the fan to the wind tunnel, the difference was immediately visible. The flow lines were much thicker, smoother, and overall way better. Okay, now that we've actually made the wind tunnel, I've created a montage of a bunch of interesting things in my wind tunnel, none of which are my penis or anyone else's penis, just to be clear, and I'm gonna show it to you. But before I do that, I just wanted to tell you that you can make this for yourself. I've provided the 3D print files for the wind tunnel for absolutely free on my Patreon, link in the description. Now let's play the montage. Montage.
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to make one of these for yourself. And please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this. I highly recommend watching this video next. I think you're going to like it. See you later. Bye. You and I, we are so random. You bring the darkness to the light, split the atom. I ignore the fact that this will never last.